Dr. Jekyll's residence. Mrs. Jekyll speaking. Oh, Sybil, dear. The country club dance? No, I'm afraid not. You see, the good doctor has been working dreadfully hard lately. He's experimenting in a revolutionary new field of medicine. Acid indigestion. <laughs> yes, he's just a burp away from a breakthrough. <laughs> oh, there's Henry now. I'll have to ring off Sybil. Cheers! <laughs> Darling, you're home. Oh, Cynthia. It's been an, an excruciating day. Operations, emergencies. Oh, you poor dedicated darling. Yes. Well, now you can relax in the bosom of your family. Such as there is. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy has a marvelous evening planned for just the two of us. <laughs> Oh, I thought that perhaps after dinner you and I could go upstairs and Mummy could turn down the lights and turn on the Victrola and perhaps you could take my blood pressure. <laughs> really, my sweet? You look so fetching tonight, I might give you a complete checkup. <laughs> <laughs> Just to relax me, though, first I think I'll have a little drink. A drink? Just a short one. No, yeah, Henry, there's no. no harm in that. Please don't do that. You know what drinking does to you. Nonsense, my darling. I'm the doctor. <laughs> to us, my beloved, and may we enjoy better things through chemistry. <laughs> no, Henry, I beg of you, please. <laughs> <laughs> that hit the spot. <laughs> I knew it, I just knew it. Oh, Henry, look at you down there rolling all over the floor in your new suit. Oh, Henry, stop with that howling. What if one of your colleagues should hear you? There won't be a doctor in left and down willing to split a fee with you. Oh, Henry, how could you do this to me? Sorry is not enough. practicing dentistry amongst the cannibals. Oh, any luck? I didn't get them to give up cannibalism, but they are brushing after every meal. <laughs> Good show. I've never forgotten you, Cynthia. Oh, you mean you've never married? Well, no, no, no. As a matter of fact, I rather enjoy being Cecil Frobisher, the playboy dentist. Oh. Oh, my darling. Oh, no, Cecil, no. Please. All right, where is he? Where's your husband? Where is the good Dr. Jekyll? The doctor? Yes. You mean Henry? Yes. Oh, well, uh, he wasn't himself tonight, so he retired into his laboratory. Oh, really, Cynthia? Are you sure? What do you mean? I mean, when I drove up here, something jumped out of the bushes and started chasing my carriage and snapping at my wheels. Snapping? Yes. <laughs> it looked very much like your Harry Henry. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, stop it, you little fool. <laughs> Your secret is out. Everyone at the club knows about your husband. All right, all right, Cecil. The truth will out. I am married to a part-time beast. I knew it. I was right. Oh, I've tried everything, Cecil, but you know how he gets when he starts drinking, and I can't even get him to go to obedience school. Oh, what can I do, Cecil? What can I do? A 
I'll tell you what you can do. You can leave this house of evil and come away with me. Cecil, what are you saying? Oh, I love you. I've always loved you. Marry me, marry me, Cynthia. I'll give you everything. Furs, diamonds. I'll even cure your overbite. <laughs> you mean leave Henry? No, no, I can't. Oh. <laughs> Mommy? Yes. Oh, Cynthia, this is so sick. It's not so sick, Cecil. <laughs> Please, darling, come with me before it's too late. No, I'm a doctor's wife, for better or for worse. All right, if you're sure he's what you want. I'm sure, I'm Goodbye, sure. Goodbye, my darling. Yes. But remember two things. What? I'll always love you. And? Vote against floridation. Yes. <laughs> Well, if you can't lick them, join them. <laughs> <laughs>